Hello everyone, I am Jackie Barry and I am with the cover. Long before COVID-19, on a branch of the tree, we have a very good morning. Take the new flower, new flower, and put on the field. Today I want to show you guys around my garden and what I have been planting long before COVID-19. <laughs> so here I do have um, cassava and then I have here my sweet potato that was just one slip like this I had and I just put it in a glass of water and then I just stuck it to the ground and now it's growing away this um, sour sop was done by air layering so you start off on the on a branch on the tree and then when it catches root it's all um, attached to this and then you put it in the ground and it grows and I have a little lime coming up here lemon yes follow me we have a little avocado tree that is coming up really nice he's so cute yeah, avocado and then I have some okras that not too healthy but it's all part of gardening I have a cantaloupe and a trellis and I think I have a, one right here so cute very cute and then I have, look at here. You see this here? This is a beetle, ladybug. This is a ladybug. Um, you want those in your garden. You want those in your garden. So when you see these, you jump for joy. Yes. And then I have zucchini here. Zucchini, I have also, we in the Caribbean, we grow, um, sorrel during Christmas time but I have sorrel in June <laughs> and then I have if you come this way you're gonna see I have the zucchini squash right here I have one and I have other small ones co coming up right here if you observe and I picked like two yesterday from this one and then I have peas over there and I have long beans cute little long beans one tree but she's coming up really nice and then I have corn and if you go around and this is my um, sorrel section and my okra section more cucumbers and more corn yeah, sometimes the worms get through, but I dealt with it this morning. So it's kind of clean now. I normally use my homemade name spray. Um, I love to use organic, um, organic sprays on my plants. So I make my own name spray with garlic and pepper and the neem leaves. And it's very effective. Yes. This is my treasure here, the squash. So what I do, I disguise it with a leaf. I cover it so the monkeys don't get them. And then I have uh, another squash. This is the big type going right along the fence here. This is another part of gardening that yeah sometimes you just can't help it and you get that one or two who decide to have its own way like a stubborn child i have a pepper right there i think i can pick her because she's already um changing color i have a pepper right there not fully grown but she can be good use for me another one right here and these i did um hand pollination so I cut the male flower 
and then when you have a female flower that's open, you take the male flower and you get the pollen of the male flower to put on the female flower and then... Can you find male and female flowers on the same vine? Yes, absolutely. Yes, you do. I did it myself. I have bees in the yard, but sometimes just to be sure, you do your own pollination. I have my tomatoes here and more okras. This is some um, kale, large leaf kale. This is garlic. This is the cinnamon basil. This is a cinnamon basil or purple basil. And then I have some cabbage coming up here. Cabbage. And this lettuce, I purposely allow it to get old so I can make seeds. So then I don't have to buy seeds. So it's gonna go into flowers because it's old now. The leaves are kind of hard and possibly bitter. Some is kale. I have kale here and then I have um, mustard greens, different types. My parsley, cinnamon basil. And I have basil here, basil and dill. And then I have the lonely plantain tree. How old were you when you started gardening? Oof. Um, since I was small, my mom um, was a single parent. Well, her husband or father lived in England. So um, she grew everything to help her girls. She had nine girls, eight girls. So um, she taught us how to till the soil and plant everything. And then, you know, when you grow up a teenager, you don't want to, I don't want to garden. But then when you get a little bit older, past teenage, then you're like, oh, you have to do that, you know, for health reasons, for fun, you know, whatever. So um, in my 20s, yeah, but started from small. What made you interested in gardening? Yes, um, I didn't like it when I was small. I didn't like it when we were doing it. But then I got the interest after I got sick and um, decided to grow my own stuff because I realized that eating healthy made a, uh, definitely a big impact in my health, in me getting back, regaining my health. So I started really like constant, fluent, you know, every day in my 30s. What is your favorite thing to plant? What is my favorite thing to plant? Lettuce, because it grows fast in two weeks. <laughs> Two to three weeks, yes. Which plant are you most proud of growing? Which plant? Uh, watermelon. But unfortunately, it's the iguanas, the monkeys, they took it. But I really had fun, you know, looking at it every day. As soon as I come from work, I went straight to the garden and that was the only plant I went to. So, yeah. But um, it's life, you know, so. What is your all-time favorite plant to grow? Um, you know, tomatoes. I had a problem growing tomatoes. And there was a lady, she gave me a tomato plant. And then after looking at some videos and realizing what I was doing wrong, now the tomatoes love me so much that I enjoy growing the tomatoes and now I have, I couldn't grow one and now I have like at least 10 in pots growing. What are your thoughts on the surge in gardening interest from the COVID-19 lockdown? I am so elated and happy. I'm excited about this. I think it happened for a reason. Um, the farmers have been preaching this for a long time, especially Denisio Wyatt. He's been talking about that for a long time and nothing much was being done. And it took COVID-19 to get us to where we are today. After opening my group 
from March 31st, my kitchen garden group and realizing that I have 1,500 members in such a small piece of time and everybody's interested in gardening, bring it on COVID. <laughs> I'm happy, I'm really happy. How many plants have you added to your garden since the lockdown? Yes, um, I didn't grow cantaloupe. I didn't grow zucchini. I didn't grow sorrel. I didn't. I did. I used to do corn. Yes. I didn't grow these long beans. I didn't grow kale. Um, I didn't grow. Um, yeah. Most of those I did not. Cabbage. I didn't grow cabbage. And this type of lettuce. I didn't. I didn't grow kale. So I have added a lot of new stuff to my um, garden since the lockdown. Because I have those seeds. Have you harvested anything since the lockdown? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Every week I harvest. I have it's a lot of greens. Yesterday I picked my first zucchini squash right here. Excited, I'm excited to cut it open. Um, the best thing about it is when you can eat your old thing, you know, so yeah. What would you say is the hardest part about gardening? The hardest part about gardening is um, the monkeys. They are very depressing. Um, they eat your stuff. You get excited when you see you have, you know, fruits and vegetables growing nicely and then you come from work, no matter what you do, to disguise it or what they find it. You know, so this is the hardest part about it. I wish that something would be done about the monkey population on the island because they're really a nuisance to those of us who grow our stuff. The weeding is nothing. The watering is nothing. Um, yeah. What is the most rewarding part about gardening for you? Harvest and germination. When you plant a seed and it sprouts in three, four days, depending on the type of seed, it's like a baby is being born. <laughs> oh my god, look at my seed! Yes. What is your advice to new gardeners or those that want to start? Um, start with a seed. Just start with a seed. Just get a cup with um, soil and one seed. Just one seed and put it in a cup. When that germinates, you must continue. You definitely will continue. Where do you see the island's gardens in 10 years? That's a tough one. I really do hope that the, the zest for it continues. Um, people have gone back to work. A lot of people have gone back to work and we have seen the increase drop. Um, I hope not because they are not posting, doesn't mean to say that they, they haven't stopped planting, but I believe because people was at home, they were you, you see, they had nothing much to do than gardening. So and they had time, so they could post their stuff. You know, now the peep, the not many, but there are few people that you haven't heard from them. So I just pray that it is not the the zest for it have gone out um, in ten years. At least, I will say, I hope at least 50% of the people who started remain. Continue. If it's more, hallelujah. But at least 50% remain and continue this. Thank you for watching In My Garden with the cover. Stay tuned for more episodes. Don't forget to like and show us some love. I'll see you next time.